So for the tomato tart, we're gonna make a quick and simple main course. We need a pastry case, which is pre-baked, nice, beautiful, deep pastry case. You'll have a punnet of cherry tomatoes mixed, and you'll either have a beef tomato or a heirloom tomato. So either which, you're gonna have a bit, you're gonna have a large tomato in, in as well. And some pesto, and some Yellison Farm goat cheese. So what we need to do, is slice your large tomato really thin, as soon as you can get it, really. Okay, and then just put it on the tra on a tray, on a nice tray that's going to be able to go in the oven. And then your smaller tomatoes need to cut in half. So we're probably going to need quite a few of these. Look the colour of these, Amelia. How nice are them? So you've got a nice little chocolate, chocolate rush in there. You've got a little mini San Manzano. You've got some yellow, yellow beauties there as well. Awesome. Chop them up. Now remember, there's only two of you. So go sell it, and then they need to go in the tray as well. Okay, generous. Salt and pepper over the top and a drizzle of olive oil. So all we're gonna do is pop them in the oven for about two to three minutes. We're gonna warm the pastry case up at the same time. So we're gonna put that in the oven as well. Let's go. Really simple, just pop it in. Pastry case in as well. And that's it. So, I forgot to mention about the lettuce. So you need a little handful of lettuce out as well. And once we're ready, after two minutes, we're gonna get the pastry cases out and the tomatoes. In fact, let's go do that now. So the pastry case is there. The beautiful tomatoes are ready to go as well at the same time. So all we're doing is warming these, warming them up. Right, Amelia. So now, what we're gonna do is start building the tarts. So we've got the tomatoes in the bottom, the big ones in the bottom. And then we'll put in the little ones in the top. Nice. Look at that, perfect. There's just, just enough there, Amelia. Little ones in the top. And then we've got some Yellison Farm cheese. So I'm just gonna squeeze a bit of this cheese out onto a plate. This cheese is made in Skipton. The really nice little local artisanal dairy in Skipton that make a fantastic goat's cheese. So we'll just crumble this up over the top of the tomatoes. And then we're just gonna pop this back in the oven for about another three minutes just to warm that cheese through. How nice does that look? But the cheese won't melt. The cheese will not melt because it's, it's a really fresh goat's cheese. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dress the lettuce in a little bit of rocket pesto. Now I think it says rocket on your uh, on the recipe card, but don't worry. And then we're just gonna dot some pesto around the top of the tart, just around the outside of the plate as well. Some nice, beautiful pesto. Don't really show up on this flat plate, does it? And then we're just gonna put the leaves on top in a nice orderly fashion, build it up, give it some nice height. Oh, that little fella fell off, Amelia. Put him back on. And there you've got it. An awesome tomato tart with a Yellison Farm goat's cheese in really in under five minutes. How cool is that? Scan down there, Amelia. So there you go. You've got your tomatoes, your goat's cheese, your pesto, and your tomato tart cake. And then when you break into it, Amelia, you ready? You can break in. It'll eat beautifully. 
all ready to go. Nice piece of pasture cash. Mmm, really nice. 